Hello and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make this orb thing. This awesome orb. I will not be teaching you how to make the awesome orb text. That will be in a later tutorial. But, yeah. Okay, so the first thing you do is open GIMP. You might notice that my GIMP is not the usual boring white GIMP because I bought, or just got off the internet, this GIMP themes pack. I will put a link to that in the, what used to be the sidebar, I'm not sure what it is, what it's called now, but I'll put a link to it there. First, what you do is make a new one. I'll make mine 1280 by 800 because that is my screen resolution. Now you can make a new layer and delete the old one. And now use the circle select tool and select a circle and make down in the ellipse select tool on the toolbox, make it 600 by 600. And you can get this layer dialog box right here by going windows da dockable dialogs layers okay so now we have our circle and fill it in with any color or actually take the gradient tool and get two colors that are of the same basic hue I guess and make the lighter one the foreground color and make the shape radial and go like that and you get your circle selected and you can move that to the middle if you want so you get that select none and then you create a new layer and this layer will make it glow to do that, you can either click subtract from current selection or just push control. And for this to work, you have to right click on the circle in the layers dialog and click alpha to selection. Now on the top layer, control, or I guess catarl or whatever, make a circle. Now select feather, feather by 100. There you go. And now you take the bucket fill tool, take white, and go select, invert, fill it, alpha to select the green circle, select, invert, delete. Gotta choose the right layer, delete. And so you get kind of a shiny effect, but that's not done yet that'll that we will work on later go new layer now and select none fill the whole layer in with black then alpha to select the green thing again select invert and delete gotta click the right layer once again delete and then there move the shine layer above that now make one new layer and this is the last new layer, and you circle select. Oops. Circle select, and make an oval. That's not a good one. An oval about halfway down, like that. And then take the gradient tool, FG to transparent, and make sure your FG is white. And create a gradient in that selection. You want it to be pretty bright. Alpha to select the circle. Invert. Delete. And duplicate that. So you get a very shiny effect. Now take all the layers and set their layer mode to overlay. Which you do in the layer dialog box. And 
now it looks like this and it looks pretty good and you you don't set the green one to overlay that one stays normal okay now go to filters distorts lens distortion and the first one is negative 10 second one is 60 third one is 1 fourth one is 1 and the rest are 0 so click OK and do that to every single layer that is the cool looking orb thing if you want to put text in it save it as a GIMP XCF file if you want to just keep it and share it you can save it as a JPEG Thank you for watching my video. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make this Goka effect. It will be a two-part tutorial. In the first part, I will be teaching you how to make these circular brushes. In the second tutorial, in the second part, I will be teaching you how to actually do this effect. So, open up a new image, 200 by 200, and what you do is you take the circle selector, this is just the brush, and you circle select the whole thing to however, yeah, like that. Make sure you don't go over the edge because if you do, it will turn out looking with a flat edge and look weird. Okay, so make a new layer and fill in your circle with black and delete the old layer. Now make another new layer and alpha to select this circle. Take the new layer, edit, or I'm sorry, select shrink by 3, and fill that in with black 2, and set the opacity to 50%. Okay, and you'll notice you can't tell it is 50% because it's on top of the other one. So you go to the other one, right click it, add layer mask, white with full opacity and then click on the layer mask and fill that in with black Oops. alpha to select the top okay now go to the layer mask and fill that in with black and it will leave you with a opaque or a see-through center go to image merge visible layers merge and then to save it you go save as and you have to save it as a GIMP brush so you browse for other folders alright and you go to your local C disk or wherever your GIMP is downloaded program files GIMP 2.0 share GIMP 2.0 brushes and you save it in there oops brushes okay it's in brushes name it whatever you want and select the file type as GIMP brush and it, that's dot GBR and save and now you can save it and it asks you for the spacing you have to make the spacing 10 description whatever you want to describe it as and that is how you make the brush for this effect hello and welcome to part two of my tutorial this is after the part where i taught you how to make the bokeh brush now i will be teaching you how to do the actual effect once again, like all the other tutorials, this text will be in another tutorial, but right, so I will just be teaching you how to do the bokeh effect. So open up your new window and 
you want to fill it in with black. A lot of people will fill it in with a, like, off black that's almost black but not quite. And it looks, it looks pretty good that way. And now you create a new layer. And in this part, you get some freedom. You can take any gradient that doesn't have white. You want a colorful one. I'll take um, full saturation and you get it right across there and set the layer mode to overlay then create a new layer that's between those two and on it just start drawing some bokehs so take your bokeh brush that we made last time I have this one right here and you I named it my first brush for the tutorial I've made others, but you get the picture. And just start. Oops. Oh, I forgot one thing. You have to use color from gradient and use the gradient of flare size fac 101. I'm not sure what that means, but you use that and just start drawing little bokeh things all over the place. And you want to get them all different sizes. That's kind of the key here to get it to look good. It's just supposed to be kind of random little bokehs all over the place. And after you have enough, oops, after you have enough to make it look good, oops, too small. After you have enough to make it look good, you can you stop making them. All right, I'll add a few more. there and now take that layer duplicate it and on the bottom layer it filters blur gaussian gaussian whatever blur and blur it by five and then take the top layer and set the layer mode to divide and it makes them glowy on the outside and that is how you make the bokeh effect. When I did it, I also, um, I made it, here I'll show you, I made it so the top right here was glowing down on the bottom, so to do that make a new layer, add layer mask, and take the layer mask, take a regular gradient, just a FG to BG, um, there okay you have to fill that layer in with black and then go to the layer mask and do your gradient add it however you like thank you for watching goodbye